On the breakfast, the level and quality of infrastructure in Nigeria is low. That's according to the World Bank, with the federal government's claim of borrowing to finance infrastructure. Why is this the case? We'll try to find out on the program this morning. Also on the breakfast, the Nigerian Navy has accused the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited of exaggerated figures of crude oil theft in the country to save its face. We'll take a deep dive into the issues raised by the Nigerian Navy. Who should we believe, the NNPC or the Navy? And as always, we'll also be taking a look at the front pages of our national dailies with in-depth analysis. Beautiful morning to you. I am Messi Boko, and thanks for joining us on The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. Uh, as always, we're back with the show this morning. It's going to be quite exciting. That's because of the lineup. Now, always we start off with conversations that are generating different reactions and different sphere. And uh, first, probably might just sound like on a lighter note, but not necessarily light. That's because it's gotten a lot of Nigerians talking. Artist, you know, you have others reacting to uh, a controversial statement or tweet or comment, not necessarily tweets because it wasn't on Twitter, but rather it was on Snapchat. Now, Whiskey stared a war with the rap industry, okay, so hip hop and what have you. That's a big issue, and I don't think it does actually end it because you still have a lot of persons talking about it. I find it very, you know, interesting and funny as well. When he dissed, uh, you know, the rap industry for being dead and boring, that's on a lighter note. I mean, that's like, that's like going straight to the point. He said, boring and dead, that was the word. But he was really uh, reacting to an interview. Uh, there was an interview that he granted the magazine. And then he said that, I probably will not use those words because they're not very friendly. But he said it was boring. Long and short of it, it was boring to him and all of that. And so um, that got to a lot of people. Nigerians started reacting. The likes of MI, Ola Deeps, uh, countered him. I mean, Black Bones, what have you. The, this artist, a lot of them, you have um, YC, you have too many persons, you know, coming out to react. Ladikpo, the list is almost endless, okay? So when he talked about that, but really, one that stood out was the fact that Ola Deeps on Friday went as far as, you know, releasing a diss track to slam him while expressing his disappointment at his statement. That's in a response to, you know, uh, the video Whiskey took to his Snapchat to mock them. So it was, there's a first part to it. And on the second part, he also talked about the fact that uh, these persons are broke. Do you think that I'm talking to all of you? No, I wasn't referring to you. Do you think I will be talking to all of you? This is me paraphrasing, but if you look at the tweet right there, or if you look at some of the comments on the screen, uh, I probably will not be reading it the way he said it. But what he said was that, how do you think that I will be talking about all of you? But really, uh, the artists that are recognized, he went on to mention a couple of them, the likes of uh, Black Sharif, he, he went on to mention uh, Sakodi, and another artist that I have forgotten, there were just three of them that are pop, uh, really recognized, but it hasn't really sat well with a lot of persons. Nasty C, okay, I think Nasty C was part of it. So he, he stated that Nasty C, Sakodi, Black Sharif are the only rappers in Africa. And so he advised them to keep sending their father <laughs> rap videos. I really don't know. But um, everyone is entitled to their opinion. That's, on, on, that's number one. And there's nothing that's absolute. Everything is relative. And so it's okay to say the rap culture is dead, boring, and what have you. The problem might not be living up to expectation. Because if you look at the hip-hop culture, or if you look at hip-hop itself, it probably might not be getting that... Uh, what, what you call it, acceptance, as it were, with all the genre of music and, and you know, artists. But I think that a lot of persons, I, I, I grew up to remember the likes of M.I. You know, M.I. has been, you know, at the forefront, doing great. His songs and all of that, Fino is there. Uh, there are a lot of, you know, this rap artists and 
and uh, the rap culture has, has been doing what they have been doing. They probably might not measure up, you know, to the international standard. And, and it's actually just um, what people like, you know, the score preference. For some people, they prefer a certain genre. Others would prefer, you know, another. And so it is what it is in Nigeria. We feel like that's not even getting a lot of acceptance. Now, let's, cast you, let, let's go back to a time where Rick Ross was in Nigeria. He had a concert. And that also generated, after his, you know, appearance for that concert and all that, there was also another controversy where people think that, you know, the rap culture or rap artists and what have you, the hip hop industry in Nigeria is not respected due to some certain, uh, because of the behavior, right? So because at the end of the day, Rick Ross was in Nigeria, how many rap artists did we have with him, you know, presence and all of that? So it's a lot, but I think that gradually and you know, slow and steady, we'll probably get there. Nothing is actually absolute, it's relative. So you can't say it's just there, it's bad. You know, it's to the other end, it's just relative. But we'll move away for the sake of time. And now it's the fact that INEC has actually announced a date for PVC collection, and it's quite important uh, because without your PVC, there's no way you're going to cast your votes. That's very 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 important so getting your pvc is important in the 2023 elections because uh there's no way you're going to express now for everyone who's constantly said i'm very displeased with the government i'm not happy you know lots been going on the only way to express how you feel about you know the government is that you get your pvc because that's the power that you have you know, to choose who will represent your interests at the local government. Unfortunately, it's not like we get to have local government elections in Nigeria. I know in local governments, you know, some would have, there's no uniformity in it. And so that's on the one hand. It's a conversation for another time. But so let's just say, for states, government elections, uh, House of Representatives and what have you, it's imperative. And, you know, the governorship, the presidential election, for you to go out there and cast your vote because it's your right. So the collection of permanent voters card, that's the PVC for the 2023 general elections. INEC has taken, you know, to her Twitter handle and other medium to announce it. Uh, they're saying it starts from Monday, the 12th of December, 2022, and it will end on Sunday, the 22nd of January, 2023. It will, the time and days for collection is 9 a.m. to 3 p.m daily including saturdays and sundays that's very deliberate and this is you know across and so the locations uh, will not be limited so this is a general information it cuts across the entire uh federation 36 states including the fct so you have no excuse i know a lot of people have gotten you th there's been a lot of engagement as regard uh, all of this some people are talking about uh the attack on INEC offices, especially in the south, uh, southeast, southeastern part of Nigeria, that's getting a lot of people talking different reactions. But most importantly, so you take note of this, go out there and get your PVC. Another on the top trending is that the federal government has lost over 113 million naira as regards the Abuja Kaduna rail closure. But uh, it's good news that, you know, activities would kick off in no time. The government has come out to say, uh, or the management of the uh, rail service has come out to announce it, that there will be uh, a kickoff. It would resume following the attack. Uh, you remember the kidnap situation where a lot of passengers were kidnapped on their way uh, to their destination. And then government, uh, the management has come to announce that government has taken into cognizance uh, what it is and so a lot of plans have been in place to ensure that there's no reputation okay well that's the so much we can take at this point we take a break and when we return we'll definitely delve into our first major conversation right here looking at the front pages of our national dailies i beg your pardon please stay with us <laughs>